Welcome to To Enable Help. This quick video is going to give you more information on the learner and teacher resources. In the previous video we showed you how to choose a subject, to enroll in a subject, and you do that through this tile. Uh, once you've chosen a subject, you can then go and access the content for that subject. So if I go for Mathematics, Grade 10, it loads up all the weeks, and I can pick a week and it loads up an introduction page which tells me what I need to do and I've provided this over overview already but this specific um, video, training video, is to show you how to do a questionnaire. So here you can start an assessment. So this assessment is 10, minute lo is 10 minutes long. It has negative marking so if you many of the questions are, are true or false or multiple choice so don't guess. If you guess the wrong one, it'll deduct marks from you. So rather leave the questions you don't know blank than, than guessing. Okay, from here you can cancel if you don't want to take the assessment, or you can start the assessment. And I'm going to do a quick start. And I'm not going to go through and do the, these assessments, but you can see it's asking you to factorize that, and it's giving you four options from A, A to D, and you can select what you want to choose here. So it's a multiple, these are largely multiple choices. You do get questions which are free for where you're required to type an, an essay. And you also get a, a, a notification that you'll be required to do a practical assessment and it'll give you instructions around a practical assessment, but that you will do the practical another time. So you literally go through the assessment and you select the answers that you can, you feel are appropriate. Um, that's an interesting question and what I can do is wait for the time so there you can see the time it says 9 minutes and 3 seconds or I can submit it before so if I'm a really fast worker I can submit it but if I run out of time it'll automatically submit itself so I'm going to just submit the questionnaire before the time limit expires it says congratulations you've su successfully submitted the questionnaire What will happen um, is it'll take a, a moment or two, but it'll load some revision here. And um, in fact, there it is. It's telling me I've got mathematics grade 10, algebraic expressions to revise. And if I click on the revise button, what it's telling me is there's a whole lot of stuff I didn't know. So if I look at the questions, I got a lot of questions wrong. Okay, but here I can go and it's suggesting that I need to go and revise these resources. So if I revise them all, what it's going to do is it's going to open a video, this video playback page and here are six videos that I need to, five videos that I need to review. So I can go through and I can watch all the videos and it's telling me if I review these videos I will know what I don't, um, it'll help me get address the questions that I got wrong. What I can do at the question level is you can see the questions, so I can show for instance this question and um, there's the question so 3 plus 6b plus 3b squared um, and it's asking obviously and these are my, my options so here I can actually ask for help and I can say I really uh, don't understand this please help and I can send this to my teacher so there you can see include my mentor Okay, or I cannot send it to my teacher if I don't want to send it to my teacher. And I can send this to a user of my choice. So I could say, right, well, that person knows what they're doing. So I'm going to send it to them. So you can see I've ticked the, that tick box. I can select them all. I can select none of them. Um, so these buttons are buttons to help you do that. And I can send this question to... Michael Matthews. So now he's going to give me help around that specific question. And um, so uh, that's a quick overview of the question space and the revision space. In order to get to remove this off my revision uh, list, I, I need to, once I've revised all the content, is to complete it 
and what it'll do is it'll clear off the contents so it'll say I don't have any content to revise and on the question side once I've got help and I've worked out how to do the questions I can individually go through and click done on each of the questions and you would only obviously do this once you've had a look at the question worked out what the problem was what your problem was and um, you can ask for help and once you've done that you can then remove it from your list so you can see each time I click done it's reducing my list and the idea is you go through and you actually answer all your questions correctly and now you'll see there is nothing for me to revise it's dropped off my list if I go back to revision it's gone so there's a quick overview in terms of accessing content taking the assessment doing the revision and asking for help and I hope that is of help to you.